Well, we knew there could be more arrests made in the Jamie Knoll case, but there's more significance now that we know the former Clark County Sheriff will go before a judge again on Monday. A major arrest in the Jamie Knoll investigation of a man who reportedly calls him a close friend. Clarksville police officer and Clark County Councilman John Miller seen in the passenger seat of this cruiser taken to Clark County Jail by Indiana State Police. Wearing a light blue suit jacket, Miller walked into the jail by troopers just after two Friday afternoon. ISP Captain Ron Galaviz talking to me over the phone moments after. Was he, he, uh, he turned himself in to the state police at uh, the Sellersburg Post. This is Miller's mugshot. He's charged with official misconduct, a low-level felony. And late Friday afternoon, we're told Miller has since been transported over to Washington County, Indiana's jail. He's accused of funding New Chapel EMS as a councilman without revealing a conflict of interest. Investigators say Jamie Knoll paid for airfare, meals, and concert tickets for Miller using funds from the Utica Township Volunteer Firefighters Association, which of course Knoll ran. The probable cause affidavit lists an interview with police where Miller described Knoll as a close friend. Brittany Free. A 45 year old female ISP issuing a second arrest warrant Friday for formal councilwoman Brittany Faree, who shares a child with Noel. As of now, police are still searching for her. And to this point, you guys don't have any knowledge of where Brittany Faree could be at this point, right? Yeah, we're not not exactly sure where, where she could possibly be at at this point, but she was not at her place of residence when you guys pulled up. It doesn't appear that she was, no. Faree is also charged with official misconduct. According to court documents, she accepted over $100,000 in payments for child support and travel expenses from Knoll, who allegedly used funds from the Firefighters Association. ISP says if you know anything about her whereabouts, to call the Sellersburg Post immediately. And as for John Miller, he's currently being held without bond with an initial hearing set for Monday. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.